Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Bhagish Code Beast, and in this video, we'll learn how to build machine learning models with no code. You heard that right? We'll be building machine learning models with almost no code. And to be precise, we'll be building a image classification model. So for those who are new to this machine learning, I think this is a best starting point to understand how it works and what are the terms which are involved and what do each term mean. So to start with, what is machine learning? Machine learning is a piece of software or a script that learns to perform a task from a collection of examples rather than through a person explicitly defining each rules or each formula. This learning software or a program or a script is called a model and teaching a model through examples is called training. So let's not waste any more time and let's just dig in. So the first thing you'll have to do is type in lobe.ai and hit enter. You can take a tour of this website by clicking on this link. I'm not going to dive into the website and explain you all what are the features. I'll just show you all in this video how to build a model. So let's just go ahead and click on this download button and enter your details and hit on download. So once you have Lobe installed, the interface would look something like this and we'll directly dive into creating a new project. So how does this work? First, we'll have to import few images. You can either turn on the camera and capture yourself uh, by clicking and holding onto the capture button and it will take multiple pictures of you. If you have uh, multiple structured folders with images, you can go with that. So I'll just click on images because I don't have a annotated data set of images. Uh, usually when you're doing machine learning, you usually split your data into three parts. For example, right now I'm trying to classify images based on whether they are wearing mask or not. I have split my data into the one without the mask one with the mask and a test which I'll be using to test how good my model performs and this is my test set. So I'll just go ahead and click the ones with the mask and control A to select all and click on open. As you can see it has imported all the images with the mask. So right now these are not labeled. So there's a trick which you can use. Click on one picture and click control A then Click on this label option and start typing the label. As you can see, the label is being applied to all the images in this section. So this is how you can label multiple images in one go. Once you're done labeling, hit enter. And after that, what we'll be going to do is import the images without the masks. Control A here, open, it's importing. Again, let's repeat the process. Click on one image, control A to select all, click on label and let's just type in no mask and hit enter. So right now we have images with mask and images without mask. Just in case if you have multiple images of multiple categories to classify, you can again click on import and add uh, like for example fake mask that can be another category here. We are done importing the data set and annotating the data set. Let's name this project by clicking on top left and typing in face mask detector and hit enter. You can view individual categories of images, labeled images by clicking on these tabs. So these are the few unlabeled images. Let's just go ahead and uh, label them. So I clicked on the unlabeled images, control A and type in no mask. So the next thing we'll have to do is train the model. To do that, click on the train button. What this will do is it will train a machine learning algorithm in the background using the annotated images so that the next time we give it a image it will try to classify whether the person in the image is wearing a mask or not. So right now I have just used images without the mask and with the mask. There's another folder containing pictures of people which are not in this data set. Let's see if it can classify or categorize those images based on whether they are wearing the mask or not. So right now it's done training. It's saying that 100% of the images are predicted correctly. What we'll do is click on play. Here we can test how our model is working. You can either choose the camera to see whether it's working on uh, using the camera or you can click on images, which I'll be choosing right now and click on this import section or import button. After that, let's just go to our test data set, which contains images which are not there in the data set, which was previously provided and just select one picture. Yeah, as you can see, it correctly predicted that this child does not have the mask. Let's try with another image. 
as you can see again it predicted correctly no mask so let's try with the mask and let's give it a try one more time yeah there you go our model is working correctly and it has around 99% accuracy so we are done training and building a model now the next task is deploying it so how can we export this model from this software to our website or an application or a script for that click on this menu button on the top left and click on export so you get three options. The first one is TensorFlow for cross-platform apps, TensorFlow Lite for mobile apps and to host it on your local API. So uh, you can click on any of these, pick whichever suits you the best. Let's check the local API. So in local API, you get multiple formats. You can go with Go language, Java, JavaScript, PHP, even Python. The script is right here and you can Use this script to run this model on your desired IDE hosted on a website. This is a small data set which I have used which consisted of around let's see total 440 images. Just in case you have GBs of uh, data and uh, images of classification and multiple categories. There comes a time when you need to train your model more. So you get an option if you go to the menu button again and go to optimize model you get an option to train your model more to improve the results. The model does this by training on the images longer. So you can click on optimize and uh, it will start training. So it will tell you when the training has been done. So let me just close this now since uh, our model is working fine. We don't need for the optimization. Then if you go to project settings, you can choose from whether you want accuracy or whether you want speed. If your image consists of something which is uh, histopathological or uh, microscopic uh, sections of tissues, it's better if you opt for accuracy because it consists of minute details which are difficult to identify if you go for speed. Because in speed, it will ignore certain minute details and take a overall a capture or overall picture of the image and classify the model. So that's how you can use these two options. If you want to explore more, you can obviously go and check out the website lobe.ai else you can go to this section called documentation. So this was about lobe.ai. So this is how you can build your own image classification ML model without writing any code. Hope this video was insightful and hope you had fun. This is Bhagesh Kodbe signing out. Thanks for watching.